Eric B's Daily Vlogs. I'm here inside Golinghe Park, a park I haven't been to in a long time. The Lisa Douglas Goldman Tennis Center used to be known as the Golden Gate Park Tennis Club. What's secret here? Not quite a secret, but it requires me to go up this hill. I'm gonna take a walk up this hill. We're gonna catch this all on the other side of the break. So let's get this started. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Still using the DJI mic, but this time I don't have it hooked up to a lapel, just using the mic freely. Inside Golden Gate Park, they closed the main road over there, it's at the park, down the road over here. The rain has stopped, gives me a time to actually go check out Something that I've been wanting to show you guys for a while, just try to figure out how I wanted to come in here. Found a way, snuck in, and I want to take you guys on a little trip to show you a spot that's a little scary. Freaked me out a few times. I've been here before, but I was on the other side of the park when it was easy to come in and park. This time I'm on this side of the park. So we'll go talk about this and let's go walk. But before we do that, Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please, the thumbs up and the subscribers does help. So thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. But for now, let's go walk up this big hill. Let's go check out what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. Again, like I said, the rain just ended today. It's rained all week. Yesterday, I got caught in a storm crazy storm got wet I was prepared but I got wet but we're gonna walk up this path because I want to show you guys something something that I've been trying to show you guys just never knew how to get there so conservatory flowers is just on the other side over here we just came from down there you can see Sutro tower towering from the sky again the audio should be a little bit better today there's a fork in the road but I think I want to go down this side right there I think that's where I'm headed now the only bad thing about using the mic right here is I can't press it I can't look at it I have to literally take it off like this to see if it's recording and just right there I probably messed up the audio but I'm going down this way because there's something I've been meaning to come back to and I have to go down this path that right there is a creepy tunnel we should go down there and check out that tunnel another day. But I want to go down this path because there's another creepy tunnel that I vlogged about before. And looking at it from where I'm standing, it's open. I believe it's open. Let's go check out this creepy tunnel. I could be wrong. I believe it is closed. You got these stones right here that William Randolph Hearst brought back from a Montessori in Spain. These are some of them right here, but it doesn't look like it's open. Oh man, there's a chair there. Kind of scary. Scary that a chair is there. Makes me wonder if somebody was sleeping here. I'm getting creeped out just walking down here. 
got to make sure there's nobody above me that's going to jump out of nowhere and nobody behind me that's following me. Walking down the stairs, got to watch my step. And there's no one in there. It's not a failure because I still made it to where I wanted to come. I just can't go through the tunnel like I wanted to. I'm going to leave that creepy chair for now. Work my way back up the stairs. That guy is singing right there and he kind of freaked me out. I don't know if you can hear the way he's singing, but it sounded like he was about to rush somebody. So again, someone told me that was possibility that somebody was standing right up on the bridge right here. When I was shouting hello from the other end of the tunnel, they could have been standing over there shouting hello back at me. But I wasn't saying hello. I was saying echo, echo, echo. So let's see. I'm gonna walk back up. I haven't been to this park in a long time and I'll tell you right now, I miss it. I miss it a lot. They closed the park a while back because of people want to use this park as a place to exercise, get out and walk. I get it. I mean, I'm looking at it right now and I'm looking at some of the stuff that people put. I definitely have to come back here way in the distance over there. You can't see it because I'm washed out, but there's a tree that looks like it's been covered in icicles. And if I flip the camera around this way, there's this statue-like thing of a rabbit and what looks like a dog. And it looks like he's making salad. That's pretty cool. Again, this is, you know, they decided to close the road. Conservatory flowers is over there. We're gonna go head back towards the bridge, but this is a cool little piece of something that they decided to add. But yeah, I haven't been here in a while. I haven't. There's like a whale figure over there. We'll come back and do the whale thing another day because I decided to just try to debunk this thing that's going on over here. So the other end of the tunnel is right, you can see it right over there. That's the side that I was on. The tunnel where there could have been, I wish I had a second person here. So that second person could be in the tunnel right now and I can hear if I'm hearing myself say echo. So there's a possibility somebody was standing right here where I am right now. They could have been standing right here. And they could have been saying hello, like really loud to where I'm at right now. I'm saying hello, like leaning over this right here and just saying hello. And I heard it from standing all the way underneath on the other side over there possibility and again these ghost hunters that if i brought this to them they're gonna say dude somebody was standing on the other side where you couldn't see them and their voice echoed to make it sound like you heard a disembodied voice possibility i don't know i i love to believe that there's ghosts out there and i love to believe ways of communication is through a mic like here and a camera like this caught a couple of disembodied voice in the past but this one to me is the one that i can easily figure out like there could have been somebody standing here or there was a ghost i don't know and yeah, this area right here has changed a lot i mean they used to i mean you got murals you can see on the ground someone over there made a nice big blue one. Again, there's a tree in the distance over there, has these icicle trees, probably illuminated at night. Over there in the distance where all those people are, there's these big blocks, like, you know, the alphabet blocks that they have over there. And again, over here, you can't see it, but there's a whale or some kind of 
right there. Some kind of shark, some kind of whale. It's over there. And there's a lot of people actually utilizing this area. So I think the next time I come here, could be tomorrow's vlog, could be the vlog during the week, but I'll probably start in the middle where that tree is over there and just walk up and down John F. Kennedy Drive and see the things they added. Probably what I'll do next time. I don't know if you can hear the music in the background over there. It's right over there, right where those trees are. The last time I was here, there was a group of people who had their string instruments from violins to cellos to guitars, and they're actually jamming over there. So me hearing that from where I'm standing right now, they could be there doing the same exact thing, or it could just be somebody with a speaker. From what I'm standing, it looks like there's a guy sitting on the bench with a speaker, and he's just jamming. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was those groups that came here and started listening and jamming to their, their own stuff. I don't know. All these yellow benches, like that yellow bench that I saw, or these yellow chairs, they look like lawn chairs that I saw that was underneath the bridge over there. Looks like they're all spread out. They're all spread out. People are lounging. Again, it just rained earlier today. That's why you see puddles. That's why you see the ground a little saturated from the rain. It just rained. But it's nice to see this area alive the way it is right now. And the clock over there in the distance, still not set. Still the wrong time. Go figure. Go figure. Now I'm at the other end of the bridge, as you can tell, right here. And I was standing right beneath where I'm standing. I was standing underneath here and I was shouting echo and I was turning the camera around. You guys saw the video earlier. I was standing around Echo, 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 and all the way from over there, the other side of the bridge, someone said hello. It was a little girl. You guys heard it. It was a little girl. It was a little girl that said hello. Obvious hello. Now, could it have been somebody over there saying hello? Maybe even somebody standing up where I am right here saying hello. But I heard it coming from over there. That's where I heard it from. So, is it a ghost? Is it not a ghost? Is it me hearing things? No, you guys who are like, oh, you probably added that when you were editing. No, I didn't. I was as shocked as everyone else was when I first heard that video. Very shocked. So for me to hear that and for me to try to figure that out. Take, took me years to try to come back out here and do it. It's, you know, I'm not a ghost hunter. I'm not here to try to debunk things, but those, that's one of the ones that, it's easy to debunk. There was one where I went on Green Street where there was a whisper when I was walking up Green Street, I was showing the Marvel site. There was one when I was at the marina and somebody whispered in my mic. So there was just so many different things that this one I could easily debunk because the two other ones there was nobody around me nobody was around me can't debunk that one this one I could again conservatory flowers right there and as you can tell there's a lot of people here that day that I was here I think it was it wasn't as busy as it is now and but there were still people walking around and I believe on that side you see the other side of the bridge right there I believe those people over there walking back and forth also. And I also believe it was on a day that it just rained, as you can see the puddles over there in the distance. And I think when I came, there was a puddle down here somewhere. I believe there was a puddle, I believe. And I know that area right there was puddle, there was a puddle, and I know exactly where that puddle is right now, there was a puddle. So there's a possibility that I heard something disembodied, there's a possibility today. My mind's just playing tricks on me. I don't know. You tell me. I'm one of the guys 
that really wish Golden Gate Park was open back to vehicles. But after coming here today and seeing all these people enjoying, working out, could have a little change of heart. Could have a little change of heart. It wasn't hard for me to find parking. Um, that's probably one of the big things. Um, sometimes it is hard to find parking. I parked on the other side over there. Fulton is behind me over here. So if you can find parking, I guess this is easy, easily accessible. Now, some people live in the area. Some people can just come here, take their bikes out. Um, you can see all the bikers. Bikers are speeding down really fast here. So, again, I guess it's okay. I guess it's cool. I guess this is something that I have to see. And I guess people are also just utilizing the park the way I guess a park should be utilized. I mean, back then, this whole area right here would be full of cars and you wouldn't see, I mean, look back there. Look at all those people just walking. And there's more people, as I make you dizzy spinning, coming over there. I mean, I guess this is, this is good for the area if you live in the area, but if you want to come here and visit, check out conser Conservatory Flowers, you have to find parking outside of the park, which back then was convenient because you would park inside the park. I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn. I like this, but I also like coming in with my car and just parking here. But again, it's different. Watching these people enjoy themselves, man, it's really, it's really a cool thing. Both sides, even our two food servers that are standing in the middle there. I guess it's a cool thing. I mean, I wish it was open for cars, but I like the way everyone's still finding a way to enjoy it. I guess with time, evolution evolves. People find ways to make things theirs. Wish the, bi the bikers would slow down a little bit. I mean, I almost got hit, especially, I mean, look at that. Look how fast he's going. Runners are cool. Bikers, if I get hit by a bike, that's it. I gotta look both ways before I cross. And there's a group coming right here that's coming just a little too fast. The other end of the bridge, again, you guys saw it was closed. But is it possible that I heard a disembodied voice? Came back here a few times, especially during Ghosttober, to sit here and try to debunk what's going on here. Is it possible? Did I hear a voice down there? Did I hear a voice coming from the conservatory flowers over there? What did I hear? What happened? The guy in me who's not a skeptic, who's a believer, wants to believe I heard a ghost. That's what I want to do. I want to believe I heard a ghost. That's what I want to do. I want to believe there was nobody standing on this side of the bridge yelling, hello. I want to believe that. I want to believe when I was yelling echo, 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 somebody was inside there with me and said, hello. I want to believe that. I mean, this park was built in the 1800s. A lot of things happened here. A lot of things happened in this park. A lot of people got hurt in this park. So there's the possibility something's still going around. Somebody's still here. Somebody's still roaming the grounds. Possible. I mean, you hear the ducks, right? The rain is cleared. Clouds are opening up. See how fast these guys are going? Good Lord. Clouds are opening up. Looks like it's gonna be a nice rest of the week. Probably give me an opportunity to come back here while whatever is in these trees are making noise. And I'm going to leave this area of Golden Gate Park to try to come back another day to debunk what I heard. I could easily go back to the car this direction. 
but that's no fun. We want to go back this direction because this is where we heard the voice. This is where we heard the disembodied voice. So this is the direction we want to go back to. And that guy, as you saw, is making his way down there. Is he going to sit in the chair? Is he going to squeeze his way in? He's going to try to find a way in. But it's really, it's a really cool experience here. Did I catch a ghost? Did I catch a voice of someone that was just working out? You can hear people. You hear, I mean, this person's on the phone right there talking by herself. You can hear people. So what did I catch? All right, guys, that's going to do it with, for this nice Golden Gate adventure. That's the tunnel right there. It comes out on the other side over there. And when we walked in, there was another tunnel that I've never been to before. So I'm going to have to do more exploring. My favorite park here in San Francisco It's probably the only big park I like going to. But we'll, one day we'll do more exploring, probably even tomorrow. We'll see. But this is fun. I get to come back to the park that I like going to. That guy was a little creepy. He went all the way down in there. I don't know what he did. I don't know what he did. But is there a ghost in that tunnel? Is there a ghost that wants to communicate? And when I listen to this in post, I'll hear something in here? Is there? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me comments down below. I want to big, give a big thanks to Sean Garnett, who has been there for every 100th vlog that I've done. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, every single one. Then he was there for the 900th vlog for me, and he's here moving forward. Thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Leave me comments down below. Let me know what you guys think if I'm hearing a ghost, if I'm going crazy. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know. Again, I'm still using the Canon V10 PowerShot with the DJI mic. I am recording the audio separate. I have this on fully enhanced shooting 4K 30. Fully enhanced. I see my battery flashing right now. It's telling me, you got to stop recording. You got to stop. The rain is coming. Again, thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Here from Golden Gate Park, from the tunnel of the Conservatory of Flowers. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlogs ended. Go in peace. That's the other creepy tunnel. I don't know where that leads. Glad the gate is closed. Forces me not to explore today. Not today. Another day for another challenge, but not today. And for you guys who think I am scared, you're correct. I'm petrified. There's another road that way. I don't even want to explore. People over here, so that's where I'm headed. What the, this is wet. This is gonna be a challenge. I'm leaning back as far as I can, because I know it's not dinner time, but I'm definitely gonna eat it. This is pretty steep. I don't care if you hear me huffing and puffing. Whew. Like I just said, that's pretty steep. I made this.